All right, what is up, YouTube and Twitch? Evidently, because we're doing this live. My favorite, the Magistus, Magistus. Is that how you pronounce this archetype? This is a. Uh, pretty interesting. How do you feel about fusing the lore of Invoked Endymion and Witchcrafter? So I guess Crowley here decided to have a nice little blast from the past here. So 1800 1000, we're, we're starting off here at some very good stats. You can send one spellcaster monster from your hand or face up from your field of the graveyard. Special summon this card from your hand. All right. You can declare one attribute. This card becomes that attribute until the end of this turn, so it literally is able to convert itself into anything. You can banish this card from your graveyard and then target one Magistus monster you control. Equip one Magistus monster, except a level 4 monster from your graveyard to the target. So they gave us a level 4 extending Crowley. Okay, that's interesting. All right, what are you? Magistus, very... Okay, this is literally the Witchcrafter. Okay, sure. So 800, 1800 on a level 4 spellcaster. If this doesn't get a level 4 searcher for this archetype, I'm going to be shocked. So you can send one... Sp oh, excuse me. If this card is no more special summon, you can activate one of these effects. So you can add a Magistus spell and trap card from your deck to your hand. So we have a searcher on a level 4, normal or special. You can return one of your banished level 4 lower spell casters to your graveyard. Uh, you can banish this card from your graveyard, target one Magistus monster, you control equip one Magistus monster, somebody level 4 monster from your graveyard to the target. These first two cards have no benefit to being equipped with other cards, nor have the other cards given an advantage. Like Infernoble Knights, for example, when they're equipped to monsters, they pass on effects. And so far, these two have not done anything to warrant me wanting to equip these. Magistus Master Endymion. Okay. What is this, like the Majestic 12, but worse? So you can target one Magistus monster you control. Equip one Magistus monster from your extra deck to that target. Okay, that's pretty interesting. Uh, you can target one face-up spell card you control, destroy it, and if you draw a card, and then place one card from your hand on the bottom of your deck. Would equipping these count them as equip? Well, they would be counted as equipped spell cards. Huh. Okay. Still not sure how I feel about the Majestic 12 of the archetype, but... Okay. What in the heck is this thing? Alright, for our first trick, we have the Saint Iwas? It's a Magistus plus a spellcaster. Okay. So during the main phase, quick effect, you could target one other face up monster on the field. Equip this card from your field to that monster. If, they equip mo er, if you equip this card to an opponent's monster with this effect, that monster cannot activate its effects. Also, gain control of it. That's pretty good. Uh, a monster equipped with this card gains 1,000 attack and defense. So I, I make this. Equip it on my opponent's card, and then I gain control of it, and I get a thousand buff on it. Okay, that's pretty good. I just, I hope that our summoning conditions on this will be easy to manage. Okay, were any of these tuners? Did I miss that? None of these are tuners. Okay, so then what's the point of having the dragon in the egg type? Okay, so Magistus is Dragon of Afram interesting. I'm already really confused with what they're trying to do with this magic show archetype, but okay. One tuner plus one or more non-tuner. If this sacred summon card is destroyed, you can destroy all face-up cards your opponent controls. The fact that this is a generic board wipe on a 2500 body only when it's destroyed, though, kind of sucks, but I get what they were trying to do with it. A monster equipped with this card cannot be destroyed by an opponent's spell or trap card or effect. A certain damage step when a monster equipped with this card battles an opponent's monster and destroy that opponent's monster. This card seems horrible, <laughs> honestly. Um, you're going to have to do some shenanigans to get it equipped, but uh, alright, good luck with that. This, uh, this archetype's falling down the, the crapshoot very quickly. This is really nice art. 
Okay, I appreciate this art. 18 on a 2400 rank 4. Two level 4 spellcasters. Alright, this might be the pinnacle of what we've been looking for for this archetype. So you can detach one material from this card, target one level 4 higher spellcaster monster in your graveyard, and add it to your hand. That's really good. Um, a monster equipped with this card can make two attacks during each battle phase. Okay, if this card is currently equipped to a monster, you can target one Medusa discard in your spell trap guard zone, and one spell trap guard in front of controls and destroy them. Um, I care about the fact that two level four spellcasters go together now to let me retrieve a level four higher spellcaster monster from my graveyard. Something about that style of effect seems pretty good, honestly. Somebody later on in the comments will notify me if there's something broken with this, but this this seems very good. I'll have to wait and see. Oh god, they got a Link 1. Uh-oh, that's not good. This archetype better be goddamn good, then. Magistus Maiden Artemis. One level 4 lower spellcaster type monster. You can only special summon one of these once per turn. You can only use this card's first and second effects once per turn each. If another Medusa's monster is normal special summon, while well, this card is already in the monster zone, you can target one of that monster monsters. Equip this card from your field to that monster. If this card is currently equipped to a Medusa's monster, or currently equipped to a monster, you can add a Medusa's monster from your deck to your hand. So, start off with normal spellcaster, make this, and then summon Magistus monster, equip this onto it, clearing up the EDM, and then you get a search. Alright, that's pretty good. See, this is how you use Link 1s effectively in card design, to give good things like this. Uh, but this is interesting so far. Trice Magistus. Okay, you can only use this card's third and second effects once per turn each, and only once that turn. So each Magistus monster you control that is equipped with an equipped card cannot be destroyed by battle once per turn. During the main phase, you can summon one level four lower spellcaster monster from your hand, so you get a generic extender. Uh, if this face-up card is sent from the spell and trap guard zone to the graveyard, you can special summon any number of Magistus monsters with different names from your hand. Why does this not say deck? If you said deck here, I would have been very happy. But, I guess. It's alright. Uh, Thologia the Magistus. Huh, I'm having Charmer flashbacks here. Okay. Target one Magistus monster you control. Equip one Magistus monster from your extra deck, field, or graveyard to that target. Except a level 4 monster. Isn't the point of our entire deck to be a level four? Also, note with this card though, um, you can you can equip this from the extra deck onto it to trigger the surge, which I guess is interesting. Uh, if there's at least one of each Magius Fusion, Synchro, Exceeds, and Link monsters in your graveyard, you can equip one non Magistus Fusion, Synchro, Exceeds, or Link monster from your extra deck with this effect instead. When in the world am I going to resolve? getting a fusion synchro exceeds and link monsters in my graveyard for one of each by the way and then be able to resolve this that seems like a lot there's definitely a broken aspect of this card too generically magistus invocation i thought for a minute that was like the generator boss stage treasure box fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters you control or have in your hand as material, including a spellcaster monster. If you're fusion summoning a Magistus monster, you can also use monsters equipped that you control as material. I'm really losing interest in this archetype quickly, <laughs> just being honest here. Vitra Magistus. Okay, this is our uh, new guy. So target one level four lower Magistus monster in your graveyard, special summon it. If a Magistus card in your spell and trap card zone be destroyed by an opponent's card effect, you can banish this card from your graveyard instead. Alright, time to be completely harsh with this archetype. I don't like this archetype at all. Uh, the Link one is very good support for the archetype for a mini search engine. I think that there is generically a search engine for this that you could abuse in some way. I think there's potential in Goddess Nenaru. 
as well just for being a very good well-rounded card for the archetype or for generic spellcasters this card is very underwhelming the dragon and our fusion is interesting also our spellcaster extender crowley is kind of interesting but outside of that i don't know this uh initially not digging this too much hmm Glad to see Star Drawings getting the reprint. What do you guys think? Please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think about this stuff. And, uh, yeah. Interesting. Thank you, patrons, for making the ride never truly end without you guys' support. Well, I would probably be doing Truffle Shuffle videos for a living. Guys, please check out Van Cole 40 for all of your card fight Vanguard content brought to you by M. Cole 40. And... If you are looking to pick up singles, check out mcolgames.com for your trading card game needs. Thanks for watching, everybody.